Lego, I loved this stuff as a kid. Who am I kidding? I still love it. I mean, you can build literally anything that you can dream up, whether that's a house, a car, or even a plane. But you know, some people build real life-size planes, like this one right here. And we're gonna actually check it out. My friend and resident tech expert, Sean Walker, is here today. Thanks for coming on the show again. Thanks, no problem. So, I built this, but apparently your dad actually built this thing from scratch. Absolutely. What kind of plane is it? So it's called a Peel Super Emerald. It, uh, it was a design that came out of the 1950s in France, and it was offered to home builders, guys that build aircraft in their basements in the 60s. How did this happen? He sent away for some plans and Absolutely. does it come in like a big kit? Um, well, the plans come in a big box and basically it shows you right from the engine mount to the wing to the interior, how you put it together. So where did he actually build this thing? In the basement. In the basement? Yes. Why would you build it in the basement? Well, that was the room that he had. So, you know, he didn't have a, a larger shop, so it was a long, narrow space in the basement, and that's where he started putting it together. How did he get it out of the basement? Well, it's the classic story that you hear of the guy that builds a boat or an airplane or, or something other large in the basement. So he had to take four feet of dirt out of the backyard and <laughs> knock a hole in the side of the house to, to get it out. Oh my God, what did your mom think? She shook her head an awful lot. This is amazing. I can barely make French toast, yet your dad makes an entire plane. If I made one, the thing would crash. Probably. <laughs> Thanks for the confidence. <laughs> so uh, what's cool about this is that you've actually uh, teched this thing out as well. Yeah, so I've taken out the, the entire instrument panel as my dad built it back in the 70s and 80s and put in all modern electronics. Basically replaced all of the 50-year-old instrumentation with uh, modern, modern avionics. Let's check this out. Sounds good. I'm going to take my plane with me. This is really cool, but I see you've actually replaced a, a lot of stuff with digital displays. Yeah, so the bulk of the, the old style gauges are gone and we're basically, are, we have three primary displays that show us all the information that we need. Well, let's start uh, with this one here. What's going on? So this is what's called an EFIS, or Electronic Flight Information System. And this presents you all of your data that you need to fly the aircraft in terms of altitude, airspeed, um, horizon information, uh, turn and slip, and compass. This looks like the old fighter games I used to play on my Atari. Absolutely, that's what it was modeled after. Back in the 80s, um, the first EFA systems were in fighter jets. So in the middle here, this looks obviously like a GPS. Yeah, it's a, it's a 4.3 inch display that is a moving map GPS. Um, it displays you, you know, obviously all the information you need to know about where you, what's around you, um, airport information, uh, radio frequency information, uh, control zones, everything that you need to, to pilot an aircraft safely. And this looks like more kind of digital versions of gauges like fuel and stuff. Absolutely, that's an EMS or engine management system and basically it records all the information that you that, that's coming from the, the engine and it gives you alarms and indications as to you know the health of the of the engine. Do these things talk to each other? Yeah, all, all three uh, displays are networked together and uh, anything that's displayed on on here I can display on on the other side as well. The GPS feeds all the location information in and uh, it's a it's a really great system. And, and how has this helped you? Well, first off, correlating the information is excellent because you're not just looking at individual pieces and having to do it yourself. It actually correlates a lot of that information together for you. Um, from an engine perspective, alarming. If something starts to go wrong and you don't catch it, it's going to start telling you. Like, land now, land now. Pretty much. Very cool. So, do you think we can take this baby up? Absolutely, you bet. was awesome. I am definitely going to have to get a plane. We'll probably learn to fly a plane first. A lot of thanks to Sean and I think we're going to take this baby up for one more flight. Gotta get connected.